Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I let you vote once again on my Facebook group, Lucy's Ladies, to see what you wanted to see next, which draw. So it was between this lipstick draw, my blusher draw, which has some lipsticks in as well. Don't even ask. <laughs> and then this is my mini eyeshadow draw down here. And of course, the beautiful lipstick draw was the winner. I've had so many questions, Snapchat, on our Facebook group, um, individually, like on Facebook and stuff like that. I've had so many questions off you asking what it is that I use to divide these drawers up. So these are what I bought off Amazon. They're a lot bigger than this when you buy them, but they're very easy to bend and snap. So all I basically did was put them in the drawers, bend and snap it to the length that I wanted, obviously, in the drawer. So it all fit. And then I'd line them up that way and then work out how long they needed to be that way and then I'd slot them together with the little slots that you can also bend very easily and snap. Very, very cheap, very inexpensive and I just got them off Amazon. They're just called Draw Dividers and these are just white ones. You can get whatever colour you want, whatever your little heart desires. And you can also do this for bigger makeup products as well and just make obviously bigger gaps whereas I just made this to fit in. Obviously, as you can see, I've made little squares to fit in the products. So I'm going to start from the first row and go back. This first row has only just started getting things in it because, yeah, I just I don't know why, I just skipped the first row and I started organising it. So these four here are the Benefit They're Real lipsticks. These are all bullet lipsticks that are in this drawer. Um, some of them are like liquidy ones, but they're all smaller versions. So any lip glosses, lip liners... Um, matte liquid lipsticks and stuff like that aren't in this drawer so it's just bullet lipsticks I'm going to be showing you today. So I've got four colours here, I've got Lusty Rose, Revved Up Red, Pink Thrills and Flame Girl. Flame Game. And it's a full video swatching and reviewing these so I'll leave it linked down below if you would like to see it. And this one has only just made it into the drawer today. Brand new edition, it's a Marc Jacobs lipstick that I've not tried yet, it's one of their nude ones. But I will be showing you this in more depth when I do a video with a massive haul. This is in the shade In The Mood and it's from their nude collection. I can't wait to try it out. It's so heavy and luxury, oh, just beautiful. And then also another one in this row is just one that's at the end. You can't really see it on camera, but just tucked in at the end because I can't fit it anywhere else. My MAC line of lipsticks has just kind of got a bit crazy. So this is Really Me and it's a matte lipstick by MAC. And then on either end of this second row, we have two more MAC lipsticks. We have Whirl, which is another matte one as well, really dark, like so. And then on the other end, we have an Amplified Finish Lipstick. And this is in the shade Chatterbox. And if you watch my channel, it's like one of my most used lipsticks by MAC ever. Absolutely love it. And then we have my little collection of YSL lipsticks and then three of the benefits, um, Benny Balm, Lolly Balm, and then this is Posy Balm. I don't know why that's upside down. I've got two of the YSL limited edition Christmas ones. One's in the shade 19 and one's in the shade 13. So I've got three Rouge Volupt lipsticks and then I've got a Rouge Volupt Shine in the shade 35. And this one is a normal Rouge Volupt in the shade 8. This is the colour of it. And then we have like a more nudey one in the shade 1. And then we have another one in the shade 10, which is a bit brighter. If you are like old school <laughs> followers and watchers on my channel, you'll know that like these two were the first lipsticks that I ever got from YSL and Blake bought me them and I just absolutely love them. That number one is absolutely stunning. And then next we have a whole line of MAC. So we've got the Trolls Limited Edition lipstick in the shade Dance Off Pants Off, which is a, like a bright pink. We've got Vegas Vault, which just looks like this. Really nice orange colour. Viva Glam Nikki, which is one of the... Viva Glam lipsticks, obviously, which goes, all the proceeds go to like an AIDS funding thing. Then we've got Russian Red, which is an absolute classic from MAC, a matte one again. Girl About Town, I used to wear this all the time. It's like a purpley colour. And then we've got an Amplified Impassioned, which is more of like a bright pink. Mirand, which is more of like a bright <laughs> orange. I used to love this as well. And um, we've got the Viva Glam Miley Cyrus, which is stunning. Once again, a really bright colour. I used to wear these colours all the time. We also got Candy Yum Yum, which is a matte one. Once again, a nice and vibrant one. We've got a nude. This is a cream sheen in Creme Cup, which I absolutely love. 
so pretty so pretty the camera is like not focusing at all and then lastly we have brave from this row which just looks like this and then on the next row we have one more sneaky little mac lipstick this is a matte one and it's velvet teddy which just looks like this and we've got a little nars one this is in the shade i'm not even going to try and pronounce that anyway <laughs> and I've got two lip glasses. One is the Viva Glam Mary Cyrus because, like, how can you say no to that? Have you saw that? Absolutely stunning. And it's stunning over this as well, which you would never expect. And then this one is the Viva Glam Nikki, which I don't really reach for that often. It looks like it's separated as well. Then the next four are all lime crime. So I've got Babette, which is like a nudie kind of colour. Just looks like these. And I've got Great Pink Planet. And I got all these, by the way, before the whole drama came out with Lime Crime. So that's my, like more of a vibrant, like pastel purple. I don't know how to explain it. Got Gerardine. Just looks like this. Nice big swatch there, Lucy. <laughs> and then we've got Countessa Fluorescent. Just looks like these. Two of these, but um, Blake bought me actually. Love, love, love. And then we've got an inner mascara in the shade Cherub, which I got in like a box kind of thing, like a subscription box. Got a NARS, Anita, which it is such a pretty colour. Let me swatch it. It is such a pretty colour, but it's just doesn't last very long and it goes all over your teeth. But I like that it's got a magnetic little clip. And then last on this row we have Urban Decay Lipstick, the only one that I have actually. This is in the shade Anachi and once again quite like a purpley colour because obviously I used to gravitate towards like bright colours so much compared to what I do now. And then after that we have kind of like a mixture of products. We have, this is a Kate lipstick, this is the Lasting Finish by Kate in the shade 20 which is like kind of like a... Once again, a purpley colour. <laughs> I used to really like purples, can you tell? <laughs> and then the next four are from the Kate line again, but these are the matte ones. So we have the shade 109, which looks like these. 111, which obviously is like a bit of like an orangey toned red, but it's coming up really orange on camera. It's not that orange, I promise. Then we have the famous 107, which has got really famous from Zoella wearing it. It's meant to be a dupe for Max Rebel as well. I used to love that for nights out before I got into like matte liquid lipsticks. We have the shade 112, which is more like a browny kind of colour. And then the next three is something that I used to be proper obsessed with. That sounded so chubby then. <laughs> I used to be really obsessed with these. These are the Revlon Colour Burst Lip Butters. So they're kind of like a really, really buttery, lip balmy kind of lipstick, but like it's a really, 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 really buttery. And they melt very easily, so bear that in mind where you're storing them. We have that one. Obviously, it's like really, 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 really shiny. I never ever reach for these anymore. I don't actually know why I've still kept them. I think it's just like I'm holding on to them. We have the shade 53, 35, and then this last one is the shade 60, which just looks like that. And then next we have a Ciate lipstick. This is from the Olivia Palmero, is that how you say it? Range in the shade Truffle. And I got this from TK Max. And it just looks like that. Such a bad swatch. <laughs> and then we have my one and only Too Faced lipstick in the shade Juicy Melons. And that's just what it looks like. And then I have a Smashbox little liquid lipstick, I think this is. Be Legendary Long Wear Lip Lapper. Lip Lacquer. Oh, I can't speak. <laughs> in the shade Pink Social. I've not actually tried this yet. <laughs> This looks like this. I like tried it on my lips, but I've not like wore it all day long and it was really sticky, so I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I got it for free when I bought some stuff from York. Then the row after is once again more drugstore lipsticks. So we have three down here, which are three of the PS Love range from Prima. Just look like this. 
Then I have another one. This is the PS Love lipstick, but in different packaging. I don't know what that one's for. I've got two Topshop ones. When like these used to be so popular when I used to watch Becca Rose. I mean, I still watch it now, but I don't really hear talking about these as much anymore. And we have the shade Innocent, and then the shade Brighton Rock as well. Then I've got two of the L'Oreal Colour Rouge lipsticks and this one is Juliana's Pure Red which is absolutely stunning. I've done like a Valentine's Day tutorial wearing this. I'll leave it linked down below if you'd like to see. And then I've also got Juliana's Nude as well because it's such a pretty nude lipstick. I do find that you need like a gloss over it though just to make it pop even more so I always wear like the Revlon gloss over it. Then I've got this L'Oreal lipstick, which I don't really think I've used. This is the 337 Refined Ruby L'Oreal Infallible Lipstick. And it's just this kind of colour. Whoa, that was pigmented. And then I have a L'Oreal Colour Rouge 461 lipstick as well. Sorry, my camera just doesn't really like to focus at the moment, which just looks like this. Let's do a little swatch of this as well. Ooh, that's pretty. And then I have a Tarte lipstick as well. This is like the one and only one that I've got from Tarte, I believe. This is the Coconut Oil Lipstick in Rosy Mauve, which just looks like these. So pretty, but it's just not very long wearing, but it's so hydrating on the lips. If you've got dry lips, perfect for you. Then moving on to the next row, which is this row here. We've got a Sexy Mother Pucker lip gloss from Soap and Glory in the shade Candy Queen. Makeup Revolution lipstick. Another Makeup Revolution one. Another one. MUA. MUA. And MUA. And then we've got three of the NYX Soft Matte lip creams. One's in the shade Addis Ababa. Is that what you say? Antwerp. And then Tokyo. And then last, on the very end, we have my one and only pixie lip gloss, lipstick, should I say. And this is in the shade Plumberry. It's one of their matte luster lipsticks. And I've done a video using this, so I will leave it linked down below for you. But it's absolutely stunning. And then the row behind that, once again, starts with another Sexy Mother Pucker lip gloss from Soap and Glory. We've got two Benefit lipsticks from when I used to work for them. One's in the shade Dare Me, which is like the only really bright colour that they do. And the other one's called Nice and Teasy, which is quite like a brown kind of nude, if that makes sense. Um, and we've got three Wet n Wild lipsticks. And this one in the middle is meant to be a dupe for Rebel by MAC. It's Sugar Plum Fairy. The texture of these... Um, like they're kind of like pulling your lips so I don't really reach for them and then we've got some of the e.l.f. moisturising lipsticks I've got four of these from like back in the day when e.l.f. was like super 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 cheap I know we've got it in Superdrug now with the recent launch but it's more expensive than what it used to be so I've got these I don't even know what shades are in because yeah they don't have the shades on the bottom <laughs> and then at the very end we've got a Ted Baker lipstick it just looks like that. So, so shiny. Um, definitely not a long wearing lipstick though, for sure. And when we go into the next row here, we're starting with a Ted Baker lipstick in the shade, like, this brownie kind of colour. Then after that, we've got the tantalising top colour sensational lipstick by Maybelline, which just looks like this. I got this in a set, but it's just got, like... <laughs> no pigment to it at all i thought it was going to be like a really nice nude kind of color like this but no it's it's really not <laughs> it'd be nice of like maybe a lip liner or something i don't know and then all these white ones here are all from the avon color trend range so some are limited edition ones some are just normal and um, we have the shades heartbreak red doll pink poppy love rich ruby jungle fever passion intimate twisted sister and i used to use these all the time once again if you used to watch my videos like from quite a while back these used to be like my favorite ones that's why i've got such a collection and the you can get them there from for like two pound fifty two pound and um, so it's so good and then we've got the ps pro rich color lipstick from Primark, which sometimes pops out sometimes doesn't there we go which just looks like this and I did this in my test in Primark video and it is 
absolutely stunning. I used it in that video, which by the way, thank you so much for the views in that video. Like it absolutely went crazy and I'm so proud of it. Next row we have another Ted Baker product. This is a tinted lip balm, but really it's just like basically a lipstick. Like it's got the pigmentation, more pigmented than that Maybelline lipstick actually. So yeah, it's got a really nice pigment to it. And then we have a Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet, which I don't even like them. Like it's such a bad formula. Um, a Maybelline Star Just Pink Lipstick, which I used to absolutely love all the time. It's such a nice nude pink colour. And then we've got five little lipsticks down here. These are from the Freedom Dark Collection. So you've got like five lipsticks for like five pounds something like that or four pounds i don't know we've got vamp noir dusk till dawn dark paradise pure vamp and noir which is obviously just meant to be black and then we've got a little number seven high shine lip crayon this is a mini that's why it fits in this drawer we've got a little lip coat um lipstick sealer can't spit that out <laughs> and we've got a sleek lipstick which you love saw if you watch my testing sleek video this is like a let's try and put it in this little gap here <laughs> this is like a very vibrant i don't know like a classic red that makes sense that's in the shade walk of fame and we've got this little Essence liquid lipstick as well, which is in the shade, I don't know, number two, I think. And we've got a Ruby lipstick from Belle of Pierre, which I got again in like a beauty box kind of thing, like a subscription box. Got an Elf lipstick in the shade Rich Raspberry, which wasn't really my favourite um, way back when, because I was into my brights, whereas I think now I'm absolutely going to love it. <laughs> And then we've got a number seven lipstick, which I will have got set like free in like some kind of set or something. It just looks like these. And that's in the shade Classic Rose, which is really, really true to its name. Then we've got this, I think it's W7. Oh no, Miss Sparty. Okay. And um, Perfect Colour Lipstick in the shade 58, which just looks like that. Wow, that is bright. That is pretty. I'm like finding things that I didn't even realise I had. <laughs> then I got this um, Deborah Milano lipstick in the shade 8. I mean, look how disgusting this is because it melted. <laughs> I don't even know if you can be able to tell. But I used to absolutely love this because obviously, you, cause you can probably tell, I used to be really, really into bright purple. So I used to love wearing that. Then we have a Mimi Me Coral Cloak lipstick. An Avon lipstick in the shade... Seeing it peony, another number seven high shine lip crayon, and then this one is a lipstick that I got off eBay for like two pound odd. Packaging is absolutely stunning, and it's like a bright pink, and it just looks like that. How freaking stunning is that? That is everything that is in my lipstick draw thank you so much for watching i'm gonna have an absolute nightmare trying to get all of these off now but yeah let me know if there's anything you want to see tutorials of lip swatches reviews anything at all then please do let me know i've also had a request to do a video showing you what out of my makeup collection was sent to me for free and what i actually paid for because I always think that when I watch other YouTubers videos but I never really thought about it for myself because I very 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 rarely ever 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 really get sent anything so yeah I never really thought of it for myself but I'd be absolutely happy to do that I think it will shock you how little of it I got sent and how the rest of it I all paid for myself if not then please leave some kind of videos that you do want to see my channel and I will definitely get onto that for you I hopefully will see you very very soon i upload wednesdays fridays and sundays so i'll hopefully see you one of them days thank you so much for watching and i'll see you then bye guys <laughs>